Good evening, I'm Erica Fly. Thanks for joining us. RTV6 reporter Chance Wilster spent the day in the middle of it all. And he joins us live now in Greenwood, where many shoppers are still just getting started. Right, Chance? Hey guys, like it or not, the idea of Black Friday shopping on Thanksgiving is really a runaway train with a lot of eager shoppers barreling their carts full of good deals toward the checkout lines. A bundled bunch of bargain shoppers corralled, waiting, shivering. People say you're crazy and you say what? They're right. It, it's cold. They're completely right, but it'll be worth it. At Toys R Us, the clock strikes five, and a well-behaved single-file stampede found the deals worth waiting for. Some even skipped Thanksgiving dinner to do it. I don't have anywhere else to be right now. I don't. <laughs> she does. Her family's going to be mad at her. Tell me why. Tell me why. Move Olaf or whatever this guy's name my is. Fam yeah. My family is having family dinner right now, and I told him I wouldn't shop on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Busted. From Toys R Us to Target to Best Buy, the aisles are packed, carts are full, capitalism is at work. So are retail employees. For them, today's a marathon of controlled chaos management. Is everybody allowed to wear comfortable shoes today for this long haul? Yeah, everybody can wear tennis shoes uh, so long as they're black and they kind of match. But, um, you know, it's, we're on our feet all day, so we wouldn't be comfortable. A smart goal. Because this long haul for workers and shoppers yes, so the line price is going from $40. has only just begun. Now, this is only Thursday, after all. Some retailers will stay open through the night. Others, like Best Buy, will close here at 1 a.m., restock, regroup, then open back up at 8 a.m. for another long day of holiday shopping. Live on the South Side, Chance Walser, RTV6. It is just getting started. Thank you, Chance. And Metro Police want to make sure your Black Friday shopping experience is a safe one. They say you should guard your money and avoid carrying large amounts of cash. Women should carry smaller purses and keep them under your arm. Guard your purchases. Do not leave shopping bags unattended. Do not leave any valuables inside your vehicle, especially in plain view. Guard yourself. Shop during the day when you can. And if you shop at night, go with a friend and park in a well-lit area. Avoid walking alone in abandoned parking lots or halls. Some more details for shoppers now. Simon Malls have special hours for Black Friday. Castleton Square Mall, Greenwood Park Mall, Clay Terrace, and Hamilton Town Center are open now until 1 a.m. Friday morning. Those malls will reopen at 6 a.m. Friday and close at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Some retailers will stay open straight through without closing. Circle Center Mall reopens on Black Friday with extended hours from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. The Fashion Mall at Keystone reopens tomorrow with extended hours from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. The IndieChannel.com can help you prepare for shopping tonight or tomorrow. Look for the Black Friday tab in the upper left of the home page and click on that. You're going to find the ads, the deals, the hours, everything you need to know to prepare to go on the hunt for all those bargains.